actually have to film this because Conan's just not good and hungry and it's his dinner time and I had to leave. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about The Miracle Worker. The Miracle Worker is a 2000 television release. It's directed by Nadia Tass. Cinematography by David Parker. Editing by Marianne Brandon. Music by William Goldstein. And it's written by Monty Merrick. Nadia Tass is best known for Oleg, the Oleg Vidov story, Matching Jack, Malcolm, and Amy. And David Parker seems to be some kind of partner with her because he had all the same best known for credits. Marianne Brandon is best known for Super 8, Star Trek, Alias, and The Force Awakens, and William Goldstein and Monty Merrick I've covered in previous videos that we listed on link in the description. The film is based off a play by William Gibson, but the play is based off of Helen Keller's autobiography and Ann Sullivan's autobiography, so, or, or biographies, I don't know if Ann Sullivan wrote her, or her diary or whatever. Um, so I can't really do a comparison uh, because it would just be like Helen Keller's life. Um, and I, you know, it's Helen Keller. I think we all know she's blind and deaf and she learned to talk by, with Ann Sullivan teaching her sign on her hands. And then eventually she learned to read and learned to write and somewhat speak. So um, I think we all know that. The film stars Hallie Eisenberg, Allison Elliott, Lucas Black, Kate Greenhouse, and David Stratherin, Stratherin, I don't know. Hallie Eisenberg plays Helen Keller and is best known for How to Eat Fried Worms, Beautiful, Polly, and Bicentennial Man. Allison Elliott plays Anne Sullivan and is best known for The Spitfire Grill, The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford, and The Wings of the Dove. Lucas Black plays James Keller, and I covered him in the video about Flash, the link will be in the description. Kate Greenhouse plays Kate Keller and is best known for The Tournament, Flash of Genius, The Dark Hours, and He Never Died. David Stratherin, Stratherin, I don't know. Plays Captain Keller and is best known for The Bourne Ultimatum, Godzilla, Lincoln, and Good Night and Good Luck. As I stated, this is based off the play, which is based off of Helen Keller's autobiography, and it's the third movie to adapt the play. I think the most famous one is the 1962 Miracle Worker, but there's also a 1979 one. This premiered in November, and uh, it was it was pretty good. Haley, H Hallie, Hallie, I think is how it's probably pronounced. Hallie and um, Allison. Wow. Their performances, especially Hallie for how young she is. Um, but I remember this about Hallie Heisenberg. I feel like I remember her being like a really, really good child actor. Um, wow. Their acting, absolutely phenomenal. Stupendous, incredible. Um, and this was actually good. It was well paced. Um, I was a little nervous to watch this. I don't know why. Um, I think because like in recent years I've been hearing that like Helen Keller was actually a terrible person but when I was reading about Helen Keller I didn't read anything about how she was a horrible person she seemed very like active for like disability rights and the rights of many so um, I couldn't find anything but I could be very wrong because I did not dive deep, dive deep into that because I was just watching the movie you know okay so I know nothing I I know the famous stuff about Helen Keller I don't know anything about how she was as a person. I don't know her beliefs, but this movie was very good. And uh, Allison and Hallie were incredible in the film. The breakfast scene where um, Anne and Helen are basically like fighting because Anne is trying to teach Helen that that's not how you act, even if you are deaf and blind. Um, and it was intense, but it was amazing. I really enjoyed seeing this part of like not you know i mean we all know that helen keller learned sign language in her hand first and then like after that learned to read i'm pretty sure with braille um and then after that could write and i know she like eventually like spoke some um so i think it was cool to see like before she had language you know because she was as Anne put it, she is a bright girl. She just doesn't know language yet, um, which was very moving. It was very amazing. Um, and I really liked that. I like that we focus on that story. I'm also like obsessed that it was directed by a, a woman. Uh, Cause I feel like you could, I don't know. I feel like you can tell. I feel like you can tell it's about a woman because it's focusing on two women the majority of the time, uh, which was great. <laughs> and then um, anyway, uh, James sucks. I hated him. I mean, I know he comes around and kind of learns a lesson, but oh 
my god for like the majority of this movie i was like hey can he just leave because i loathe him i loathe him he was awful like i just hate him so much um but he comes around in the end so like a character development woohoo but it was hard for me because lucas black was in flash which is that movie where the kid just like does everything he can to save his grandma and his dad and his family and rides his horse for all those miles or whatever. It's so good. Um, he was so good in that. So it was like hard for me to see him be mean. And I was like, no, I hate this. Um, but the movie was excellent. I really liked it. I, I feel like the resolution could have been better. Um, because it was kind of like she finally understood that Anne was teaching her what the things were. Like it clicked that water was e r you know like it finally clicked that that's what it was um which was amazing uh and i really loved that but i wish it could have gone like a step farther where we see her like starting to learn it a little bit more it did give us like the oh, helen killer went on a thing which was great and ann sullivan or whatever but i don't know i wanted a little bit more at the end but again this movie was great um i don't i don't think i have anything the music was pretty good uh I don't think I have anything else. I cried. It was, a, it was good. That's everything I have for The Miracle Worker. I would recommend it. I think I've watched this on YouTube. <laughs> um, so, or, you know, somewhere around there. So go ahead and find it. Uh, yeah. That's everything I have for The Miracle Worker. Give it a watch. It was good. Haley Eisenberg. Outshining everybody. Incredible. Uh, my final rating is seven dolls out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parent total is the same, but our cry count is. <laughs> if you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just $1. And it does come with benefits and there's a lot going on over there. So go check it out. Buy merch. Merch is amazing. I'm obsessed with this on this blue. I didn't think I would like it on this blue, but I am absolutely obsessed. I adore it. I think it's awesome. And it's so soft. Oh my god. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life. You are a studio, and don't be James for, like, the first three quarters of this movie. Don't. I frackin' did it! Seven. In the bag. What's good?